We begin today with a spotlight on one artist whose career has generated so much excitement. Terry Apala is not your regular walk around the block Apala singer, so you might need a bit of patience and a lot of open-mindedness to understand why he takes today's spotlight. <laughs> As the Nigerian music soundscape takes its form, and indigenous genres eventually succumb to the dominance of pop and hip-hop, comes the lone voice of Terry Alexander, who is gradually bringing back the Akbala music genre. Popularly known as Terry Akbala, he hails from Delta State but grew up in Ajegunle, a suburb of Lagos. There he got his introduction to the music genre made popular by Haruna Ishola. <laughs> Back in those days when I was still in primary school, mm, what I could remember then is, is it, I grew up with that sound. Back in those days when we used uh, all those radio that has just, you know, I used, there's this man we used to call him um, Alajo Lukotu in my area. So I grew up with his son. And it's this man that liked playing, I don't know, sure, like Super Latunji. So I grew up with that style. And while I was growing, I started doing Akwala music since when I was 15. Yeah. That was during my prime, primary five, primary six time. So in church, that was what I do, because I play drums, I play guitar. So in church, when others are singing the normal praise and worship, I do my akwala on gospel song. If you know what dance I'm jogging, see what we learn of a passage. But the most coaches, we could dance up together, no time for rubbish. This music in dance, we know we should reach a I they sing my song, but we want. It sounds so local to them back then, because um, due to what my people are saying now that they said what I'm doing it's kind of local. They can't just imagine me bring doing Akwala music on hip hop. Nobody will listen to it because they believe in Nigeria. You need to be outspoken, like you like you speak very well. You need to do something English, like you know, like others, two face and others. So I believe in doing my thing. That's why I tell them. Back then, the reception wasn't going well due to what people are saying. Then I was kind of discouraged, but. Early this year, I dropped a single, Champagne Shower, and thank God. Akpala music is what I've been doing for long, and I see it as a gift from God. I believe it's something I could do. I could do that indigenous something on hip-hop, and that's what I'm doing now, Akpala hip-hop. And thank God, it's working the way I pray. It's working according to where I want it to be. It's going well. The reception is going well. Akbala is a percussion-based music genre developed in the late 30s. And even back then, it was less popular than the more predominantly Fuji and Juju. In the early 2000s, Musili Ushola, a direct descendant of Aaron Ishola, created a funkadelic hip-hop reinvention of the sound to create the track Soyoyo. Although the track received great reviews and massive airplay, it quietly fizzled out of our period. Now, Musili Ishola hopes this new act from Delta State will help him preserve the musical legacies of the great Aruna Ishola. The first day I met Musili Ishola, you know, he asked me a question. He said, um, I can't believe somebody that's not Yoruba is doing Akwala music. So how come, you know? Because my fear before was, ah. Like they always say, they, they, they will say, um, if you want to do Akwala music, if you want to be a competitor to the Baba out there that are doing Akwala music, man, you need to be strong. You need to be like, 
when it comes to fetish kind of, you need to be very, very strong. Like, ah, with God, nothing's possible. I'm, me and Baba, we met, like sometimes I used to go to a show, maybe sometimes he would call me to come for his shows. And people were like, ah, I'm not going to call a And thank God, I won't tell you lie, it's working well compared to before. Compared to before, back then, you know, it's not acceptable then, but now I can see so many acceptance, you know, from Lagos, Niger, all over the country. Terry Akbala's music is generating so much excitement within the Nigerian music circle as it rejuvenates a dying genre. The attention, the expectations and the pressure sometimes gets Terry worried. He was very happy. Um, he said something that day we met. He said, um, I don't know Shola, people know Babanga Nyagba as the person that studies oh, Akbala team and and he said, thank God, Adupe, T, Emino Balasi, T, Abari, at least as she near the county, you know, I still have somebody that will still at least bring up that, that Akbala will not die. I'm not with that level. My baba is. Baba don't, you know. I don't do the, I don't for the game. Me, what I think I should do now is I need to work more very hard because I'm not, I'm not big yet. By the grace of I'm going to be big by the grace of God, but right about now I'm not big yet. So I need to work. It's a very, very big task for me now because I need to work more, 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 more. Do I have songs, but not like Baba them. So I need to work more to get to that stage. <laughs> It's not easy. Look, um, the best reward you could ever get is when you're working, people are appreciating. Because when you're working, people are not appreciating it. That means you're not working well. If I go for a show, um, I used to do like rehearsals. Because I can remember what I did at the backstage that day was, um, give me the money, make I pop champagne, give me the money. That was what I did, I remember. So, <laughs> it's by his grace, I would say. That's what I would say, it's by his grace, man. Since I'm doing... Uh, you can't just wake up for a show and you just go for you just go on stage and start performing. There should be a rehearsal before the show, and that's what I'm doing. With the acceptance of his music comes the big record deal, and with that came urban characteristics of fame as prescribed by the fast-paced industry. His new single, Champion Shah, wrote on an explicit video that cannot be shown in this report. The video even got his mother concerned. <laughs> She just said, man, this video you just shot, man. It's too raw that I need to censor the video. But my mom can't tell my management what to do. Because they are the one, my management is the one spending, my record is the one spending, spending the money. Nobody will tell them what to do. That's how they want it.